Hello and welcome to the episode of Total War Run 2, the run campaign. Last time we left off, we prepared our war against the Ardii, and I have now realised I have also resolved battles. Which means I can't get the achievement and I don't have a save back enough. Apparently I've got resolved two, I only know the one. That was the ambush after, I think, these guys killed my general and it annoyed me, so I just kind of got resolved it, not thinking. But I don't know where the second one is. I don't know what the other one I ought to hold, but it does mean I don't have a save to go back to at this point. I wasn't going to go back anyway because this is going to look for long enough and I'm going to win anyway. But in the spirit of what I was trying to do, I will still fight some battles. I will use auto resolve now, but if it's like a major fight, so kind of here and like maybe here as well, I will still fight it. I'll still try to fight more often than not. So you get actual battle content. So I'm not just, you know, oh, steamroll, steamroll, auto-resolve, auto-resolve, auto-resolve. I will still fight a decent number of battles, but I will, like, for easy fights, I will just auto-resolve now. Now that I know I've messed up, basically. But it's not the end of the world. It will actually allow me to speed things up a bit, to be honest. So it's not all bad, but without further ado... We'll end the turn. It's not been 10 turns, I don't think, since we broke our trade agreement. So, we're going to lose a little bit of reliability, but it should stay green and it should come back relatively quickly. I don't want to be funny, but they just marched through my lands. That is an act of aggression and therefore gives me Casas Belli, whatever you, whatever you want to call it in this game, to go to war, as far as I'm concerned. Trespassers. Wait, what? Oh, they're over here. I thought that was Miss Alia for a second. It's these guys. Oh, no, it's not. It's Tillis. So, once we go to war with Tillis, I think Wall Scythia will like us quite a bit more, so it's alright. I mean, he's being destroyed here. I will listen. I might should avoid war with Sparta, even though they do have some good lands. Oh, but if I push over here, they're going to take this. They can push up if they want to, and they hate me, so they will declare war. Uh, it's, uh, no. Greetings in the name. I doubt. I need my defensibility to be quite high to keep these alliances. Right, I believe they uh, did trespass, right? They trespass, surely. Come over here. Where did that army go? Are they at war with the Idrissian Kingdom? No, with the World Scythia. Did that just happen? I think that just happened. Right, okay. Do you want to give me any money to we'll go to war with them? You are welcome. Although my ancestors and people expect talk with purpose and honesty. I'm just thinking, will this protect my reliability? Because if, you know I mean, they give me money for it. They were proud, our ancestors. I don't know if that's how it works, but we'll find out. Oh, come on, just accept it. It's cheapskates. Well, we're tire tireless as well. They're going to beat you, man. They're right here. Oh, that is going to suck if Wall City can't defend them, you know. If they come up here. Massive border. Don't want that. 
Don't want that either. I want the dome wall. Oh uh, yeah, step fast. I, I think that might give me an excuse. Right, let's go. Okay, nothing in here. We'll auto resolve that because that's an easy fight. Now that I know that I can get the achievement. Bring them both up so they both get experience. Right, even though that's an easy fight, I will I will fight that one because that's a major settlement. Well, we'll find out where the garrison went. If you go over here. The siege. They bring you up as well. I think the navy can also join in. We can get some uh, extra troops and some artillery. Right, we'll bring you up. Don't need you, but it will give him XP, which isn't a bad thing. And that will leave him with just this, and next turn we'll march down with our second army. And bring it down. Right, we'll have a farm here because of this. We'll maximise our food production. So I've got a couple of battles to fight. So like I said, I will fight the bigger ones or like the main sieges. Because that was the original point anyway. But, you know, for Sagastica, it's like, oh, it's a complete cakewalk. We'll just oh, resolve it from now on. All right, so two battles. We'll start with this one first because this should, in theory, be easier. I mean, it is a full bar, but we will fight it. it's these ones where it, it can go wrong so it's more interesting to watch I think anyway that's my theory I don't want to just open this up absolutely everything even though I think I'm in a position where I can force that if I wanted to I, I have enough armies at this point uh, yeah we'll fight in the rain they can't set my stuff on fire Tower's got some night range. We're gonna go over here. Yeah, near where, near where our reinforcements that we don't even need are gonna appear from. All right, if they're gonna have you know that blister here, we'll attack the blister and the gatehouse, and these two can attack the tower and then the blister as well. Is that got? Is that got oil? That does not have oil. Okay, right, we'll, we'll, we'll just build that down as well then. I think we'll need an army to burn that down. Oh, hang on, we can't, we can't burn it down, can we? It's rain. Oh, the veteran engineers. Go over here. Skip. Yeah, we can't. I don't think we can burn it down. Oh, this will be harder, so. I won't bother with that. We'll take more losses than we would auto resolve, I think. But, like I said, it's the whole point of this campaign, so I will, like, you know. Still fight. A decent number of battles, but for like super easy small battles, I just always a little bit like ambushes and stuff like that. Right. 
get don't get in that range of the towers but stay close so you can go up provide support so they don't just get slaughtered that with no backup at all very experienced legions thanks to the champion I hate when they do that. I don't know why they do that. You don't gain much from that. I'll teach you to, to fling rocks at me. Okay, they're going to protect the guard tower. Kill the levies. Here come the hot lights, they're better you in it. I'll start running now because they're starting to uh, clear the ladders. Back towards the tower. Legionaries are proving their worth. They're worth. Not worse, worth. They are uh, struggling a, a bit, but they have got some good defensive troops, so they are going to, you know, hold for a bit. Right, get up there. Get up. Provide support. We've got our tower there now, so we can. Uh, well, there. I'm well, sure we'll try to burn down the gate, see if it's doable. Got nothing to lose. They've lost the tower, so they're not gonna shut us down now. Oh, these eyes have actually got around the back of them. That's all right. Got around the past the hoplites. From a wider line. Form a wider line and then attack. There we are. You understand to paint now. Actually, I'm not even need to burn it down. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, they're gonna annoy me. Kill the hoplites. Cover it, get two units, get ready to rush in and get after those javelin men, because they're going to run away. You take a summoner, just form the wider line and then attack. Uh, Jim will get over here, try some more support. Fire. Oh, don't get stuck on the spearmen. Get after them. Yeah, that's right. Ignore the spearmen. Don't get stuck on them. Just run past them. Let the infantry deal with them. Kill them. That's what I think of you. Javelin men. Then I die soon, so. Alright, they're riding as well now, so we're gonna win this fight easy now.
Get out the get out the range of the towers. Alright, attack. Attack the tower, I guess. Well, there's a few men doing that for no reason, but it's fine. Get the cavalry behind, do a charge. That should pretty much route them at this point. Route them, let's go. There we are. <clears throat> Come on, route, please, route. There we are. 231 losses, yeah, we would have probably, probably lost less. In a, uh... Oh, it was all, but... It is what it is. We won, and that's, that's the, uh... End of story, really. We'll get that back in a turn or two, and it's no difference to us. We'll occupy. There we are. 82 year old. Takes over another settlement. He didn't do any fighting, but... This can be his uh, his legacy. I will push into the... Uh, Let's take the extra settlement, defense, like the fortified defences. This can be like his one achievement. He was he personally led the expedition into Greece. In, in, in his leadership, he took all of Germany, but he kind of, you know, I mean, he was criticised for staying in I, in Ida, Ida, whatever. He took that personally, and he's led his own little invasion. But the work is not done. I'm going to run the uh, military one because it's a border province. We'll, 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 we'll build, a, build a farm there. Yeah, auxiliary camp is fine. There we are. They got it sorted for me. I consider it. I think you pre pre prepare for war with the, with, uh, the Odrishan kingdom here. Who they at war with? Wait, war with anyone that I... Uh, I don't know, back to you. If you guys want to stay alive, I'll offer to join you all. Would you even accept that at this point? You, you basically did that did anyway. Be welcome. If I can give you a fair answer, you will have it. Okay, they would, okay. But I'm assuming they won't give me any money. But it gives me an excuse. Although they are likely to die before before I can do that. Right, you come down as well. Right then. Dealt with uh, Singadon. Now it's time for Epidemnos. We have naval support here. We'll get after their, uh, their, their navy a bit. Try and ram them. I can't do naval battle, so we won't do much, but we'll, we'll keep our artillery to actually like, attack their enemy. Try and, you know, walk them down a bit. Alright, attack. Let's attack. So we are deploy deploying, what, 7,000... What, 840 men? They're deploying 4,920. 4, a lot of men at this battle. They do have an army somewhere, I don't know where it is. Oh, they have an actual fleet in here. They've got the army and an actual fleet and the garrison unit. Oh yeah, of course they do, I saw it on the map. What am I on about? So if I just came with the one army, it, it would, well, in a 1v1, it would be about even.
where my reinforcements are coming from, they're coming from over here. Right, they'll deal with the navy that land, I think, and the uh, attack from the flank. Right, that's three, that's fine. I didn't see what archers they had, to be honest. They've got cavalry, so I can't just, you know, willy nilly just have my archers up. Right, I'll select you as selection group one. So I know you're the, you're the main army. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Here are mine. Where's the rest of my fleet? Oh, here they are. Where's the rest of my fleet? I had, uh... I had... I had, um... You know... Onigas and Ballista and everything. Where are they? We've got so many men, we've, we've, I think we've hit the, the actual unit limit. Unless you're not allowed Ballista on this one, because they don't have theirs either. Their general's not here from their navy. Unless it's over here. No, that's just the javelin men from the, uh, the, the garrison. Oh right, my full navy and reinforcements haven't arrived because I I've got twenty I've got the max of forty units. There's a max of forty units. That's annoying. Right, try and remember. So this is basically as big of a battle as you can get. If I knew that, I wouldn't even bother with the navy. I'd just, or the second army actually. I'd have been better off just having the main army because it's big enough as it is. I just use the ballista. How many men does the tower have? Can they even disembark? Where is he? Oh, they can. Yeah, Rohan, because you need to catch them there faster. If you can't catch them, we'll have to land over here. Right, Robin. From him. There we are. Oh, why would you stop, man? I hate naval battles. Because the, the, the ram wants, and this happens where they get stuck. And it's really annoying. But can you board? He just buff them there. You get after them. Okay, they're trying to ram us in the rear. We'll just, you know, chase them down. We'll just get Peter to death here, won't we? Might get over there.
One of our units has used all its ammunition. We did alright there. We've got the better ramming, ram, ramming shit, so they kept because we got the, the bigger ones, so they can't just be like gonna insta kill you now. We have the insta kill ability. I think they're gonna land before we can get there. Yeah, they, they're definitely gonna land. Oh, hang on. Turn around. I did not issue. Everyone ram that guy. I'm gonna set us on fire if we're not careful here. I didn't see you. Alright, ram him before he sets him on fire. One of our units is there we are. Ammunition. Ram him. There we are, they're dead. That's what you get. Alright. They've landed. Could get them all, but. Off. Everyone turn around and get these guys, please. Where are we at? No, 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 I don't want that. Don't want that either. There we are. Under the. The battle is turning in our favor. Right, everyone, move up. We'll try to. Uh... Okay, I no no I didn't do that game. I I I hundred percent did that. I hundred percent did that. That I got. I probably, if I didn't, then egg on my face. But I swear that was straight. That for sure was straight. I don't know what's going on. Oh, everyone move up. I might as well maximize the damage I can do before I engage. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Advance at speed. Okay. Legionaries. Double time. Proud Romans all. Yeah, if I knew the Navy wouldn't put this spawn as well, I would have um I would have just brought the two armies, or just the army and the navy. I wonder if you. I wonder if it's like the original Shogun, where you kill enough die, the rest come in. Our hidden units have been I want to be careful because I don't want these archers to get um, charged down by the cavalry. We'll bring the archers up. No, the infantry up. Right, are they going to be foolish enough to get in range? No, they're not. They're not stupid. Well, the AI is stupid, but not stupid enough to do that. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Right, open fire. We'll let them land and bring these up, then we'll do a massive charge. I mean, their hoplites are the better units. So if they can, um, you know, we can weaken the, their best units down, it's going to be super easy to, to win this fight.
Oh, they're all veteran legionnaires. Even the, uh, the, the tower one was a veteran legionnaire. That's good. Yeah, group here. March up. Okay, they're just letting the hoplites uh, get slaughtered, that's great. Works for us. I got a lot of troops, but so do we. So do we. And if you can go in into battle with some of them already routed, and them taking losses from the naval battle on here as well, we're gonna have the morale advantage. This will give us time to bring all our men up for one big attack. We just need to wait for them to commit everything, wait for that gap, cover everyone in, kill their, their, their javelin men. They wouldn't know part of that they were in. The hoplites are trying to stand firm, but they're, they're starting to panic. I mean, the fire might be worth it for the morale debuff, but it does less damage. I'd rather just get the kills. Down to twenty nine. Oh, they're gone. Well, let them run away so you don't like fire on them. What are you guys doing? Still got plenty of time. Right, open fire again. They want to shout at us with their little sh pathetic shields. Oh, this guy. This guy's got a good shield. Yeah, they protect you though, did it, mate? Protected him though. Is that the, the richest guy here? So he, he can afford an actual proper shield. Actually, gone out of my range now. That's smart. Good for them. Oh no, there's there's a, there's a unit here. Maybe we couldn't see because of the hill. Should mean we do some decent damage on the last few shows. So we've got a good angle on these guys. Units has used all its ammunition. Uh, you, you retreat. Right, right, cover it, cover it. I'm going to come round the back here. Once the combat starts properly. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, now it's time to actually engage, get to the good stuff. Done the opening skirmish. You guys are on, I can't be asked to wait any longer. Cavalry can recover quite quick, so. 
I'm going to have a position to run down here once, you know, the combat engages. With a couple of units. Right, you two, you have been chosen. Alright, let's get this done properly. to run though. Actually you two have no reserve actually so I'll, I'll, I'll do two. Then you can be the reserve. There we go. Let's go. I'm gonna circle it in on their position. Don't run. Don't run. Right, you. I don't know why you're doing that again. Stay in a line for crying out loud. Right. You guys. The two lines are three. Making their changes. Right, General, try not to get shot. And it's still fresh for now. Attacking. Oh, at least change in formation. All right, charge. Get in. Commence the assault. Commence the assault. Commence the assault. Kill them all. Attack. Attack them, attack them. They're committing everything straight away. They're going to leave their uh, archers behind. Vulnerable. I start running. Get behind them. They committed a, a lot of troops. Plug the hole, plug the hole. Plug that hole. Let's go. The cavalry is going to intercept our cavalry, but it's three on one. We'll try and win that. Get in. Our hidden units have been discovered. Yeah, that's going to do, they're going to do damage. That's the problem. The enemy uh, uh, poked the hole. Get behind them. We get out of the enemy archers. They're the ones doing the damage. They're very powerful in these games. Cavalry taking damage mainly from the enemy uh, javelin men as well. Get stuck in, get stuck in. Can 
and just engage what you can. Plug the ho Oh my god, they're getting shot to bits. They're so powerful. Javelin men are really overpowered. Here we go. One of our units has used all its ammunition. My cavalry holding strong. We got the we got these guys flanked. These guys are flanked. This flanks fall into us. I'm not sending my generals anywhere near that because they're going to get javelin into oblivion. But they're gone. Here we go. Right, help the cavalry. Got right, these guys trapped. These guys are out in. We got them, we got the cavalry. The enemy general is enemy general's dead. These are struggling. Right, bring the bring the general up. Get in. Just just charging. Oh, I'm not close enough for these guys. Here we are. It's a mass riot. Mass riot. Flank attack. This this side fell so quick. I've got a bunch of people in. Their, their flank here held quite well. Their left flank. Their right flank couldn't find a way through. But the rest of the army fell to pieces. We pick up the win. The javelin men did a number. That's that's the only unit that did any kills. When you think about it, most of those kills are to the javelin men. I hate them. They're so strong. Right, I'll keep right. Okay, that's cost us a lot of money because of the uh, upkeep. Does that mean we get another edict? Here yeah, it does. Right, Pannonia. You actually make the most money outside of uh, our main three, so you get the bread in edict. Bread in games edict, I should, I should say. We've got enough movement points to actually move down here. Easy win, so this one I will auto resolve. Right, where's our army? Ah, oh, it's over there. It's over here. I just can't quite see it. Oh, improve plumbing. We'll get that next. We'll go wine because we need money now. You gotta think I am on the high tax rate. On the long term, that won't um, be a border province. But when we take this lead, this might be a big game for us, to be honest. It's a new trade. It's a new resource, so it might give us a bunch of money. Like it, it, I just don't know about this stage of the game if that's how it still works. But we have got plenty of money anyway, but we can raise more troops. Just where do I want them? The 
thing is, I really need a defensive legion over here. Yeah, I think it's going to be a defensive legion in... I mean, I could risk that they're trying to defend itself, to be fair. Hmm. Yeah, they can get they can get here in the turn. You know what, you know what, you know what, I've been thinking about it. If I lose a battle, it doesn't matter. I can't get the achievement. It doesn't matter now. Right, so I'm going to put one in, Trevo in uh, Trevor, Trevor Orem and the Mosses. So if the British, I need to go to war with them, I've got armies here. If all Sith here attack me, I'll turn around and fight them. But I think I can make them like me. On the basis that we have the same enemies, because now that I'm at war with, uh, now that I kill the RDI, oh, RDI, yeah, whatever they're called, who cares? They're dead. Uh, they'll like me a bit more. So if I keep doing that, same with Tillis, they'll leave me alone. In theory. Does this up with upkeep? No, that does there. Raise an army. We've got plenty of money, so only making a few thousand per turn is not a problem. When they've got the same attack, does it really matter? some auxiliary infantry for now. You're useless, you pathetic. Uh... Pathetic authority there, one. So I'm going to get some auxiliary infantry. Plus, I think we still rely on chariots and that, so having spears isn't a bad thing against them. Alright. You're the... Wait. Yeah, you. You. You two both get promotions, because you played a big role in that. I'll help with that cube. Might ain't bad. Same with you, I'll not give a second wind as well, which isn't a bad thing either for long fights. But I changed these. Does it give us the archers? No, it gives us the peltas. Get ready to put a temple though. Right, so you, who are you? Who are you? Ergolanius Plankus. Are you the adopted guy? No, you're not. It's you. 
you get a promotion. And you. The rest aren't that easy fights, but these these two had to fight a tough fight. In Epidamnus. Julius Scarus. Where are you? There you are. What a doctor nephew. You can get a promotion as well because your uh, your husband's starting to get quite the name for himself. Come on, mate, put your, put your finger out your ass. Even though I'm the one in control, who, who does what? You get promotion just courtesy of being in the air. There we go, we'll get your wife to uh, help you out. And you can organise some games. Pannonia. Which I believe is this place? No, here. I said there we go. Where's Pannonia? Here we are. Where's that? Conquest minus 40. Yeah. Okay, well. Next time we will go to war with the uh, Odrissian Kingdom. We'll have to deal with what the remnants of the uh, RDI nice. are for us as well. The map mercenary cheesed it, but they've got no open territory when the main army's over here. And that was a garrison. That's what I thought for a second that didn't have a garrison and they could cheese it. But they can't. I'm hoping anyway. I can always take it back. I don't, need, I don't have to worry about losing now. I don't, it doesn't matter. If I can take something back. It's not a problem. Sweet. For now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time for some more Let's Play uh, Total War Home 2, the wrong campaign.